Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching the finale of Peacemaker. So they are headed to kill this cow, which we said, why do mm -hmm. they have to kill it? Can't they just teleport it back to space? But Maybe. that probably is not very feasible, so they're probably just gonna have to kill the cow. Yeah, last episode we wrapped up some things with Peacemaker's father. He kind of faced the fact that even though he did I guess technically kill his brother, it was obviously because of his father. They were pitting their freaking, he was pitting his sons against each yeah. other and letting his friends bet on it. Ridiculous. I do feel like, you know, out of all the other things that need to be kind of wrapped up in this last episode, Leota and Peacemaker making amends will probably happen at some point in time. And if we're able to be successful taking out these butterflies, what's going to be the false story? Because it was supposed to be Peacemaker, or is it just left to be implied that it is Peacemaker? And he's just kind of going to have to be like hiding, you know, or mm -hmm. still maybe working for this team still, but like he can't really like let himself be seen as much because he is wanted and maybe he could be like the, the hero that we deserve, but not the one we need right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is this song? I know I'm the last person that you want to hear from right now. I can't <laughs> I know that you're mad, but from the bottom of my heart. Oh, you're not even letting her apologize. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to. <laughs> Set me up to take the fall, and then he tries to send me to prison, and you think I'm sorry he's gonna cut it? Cut it! Dude, we're off it. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was just getting into it. Mom, there are way more butterflies than we thought, and the whole team is injured. So I, I was thinking, like, maybe you could call in the Justice League. <laughs> the Justice League? All right, I will tell her. Fine. My mom says you're in charge, and Economos and I should stay back in case anything goes wrong. <laughs> oh, one of his hats. Oh, several. Are those were the ones in the bags, right? Yeah. I guess they went back and got him. This one is anti gravity, allows you to float. Aimlessly? No, I carry a tiny hand fan to guide me. <laughs> <laughs> a hand fan? This one we should just throw away. What is it? Human torpedo. You aim your head at whatever you want to destroy, and you become a human torpedo. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the one we should use? Every bone in your body. Oh. Huh. I'm gonna put a walkie in it and activate it from here, and then maybe you can put on activate anti gravity and just float it over there. Uh, okay, guys. Oh no! You said it. Oh my God! You're just gonna no! fucking float away. Tell it not to. Where's Eagly? Go get it, Eagly. Deactivate anti gravity. Deactivate anti gravity. <sighs> what the fuck's Eagly? Uh. Activate anti-gravity. <laughs> Maybe. You can't fucking say that shit! I didn't know it was that voice sensitive. Fuck it, no big deal. I didn't just kill the only man who knows how to make it. You did just kill the only man who knows how to make it. <laughs> I know, bro! <laughs> fantastic. That goes over his head. That's right. Good, okay. I need you to take that helmet and drop it on top. Is of he gonna understand? No, this is gonna be like a baby Groot situation. Yeah. Oh, Eagle's no ordinary eagle. Hm. No. No. They can't pick it up. No. No. Eagle. No. Take Eagly. the helmet. Take the helmet. <laughs> Eagle, take the helmet. Take the helmet. <laughs> good, Eagle, good. Good boy. All right, there we He's go. He's gonna fuck up. <laughs> Can drop it. I don't feel like he's gonna drop it too early. Or is he just gonna loop back around? Or take it to the woods? Or are you <laughs> taking it? <laughs> oh! Shit. <laughs> we need to fan out and look for the helmet. Easy. <laughs> Got the body type of Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Do you see anything over there? I saw a squirrel a couple seconds ago. Ants. No, dude, I'm talking about <laughs> the that. helmet. 
Well, then you should be more specific. <laughs> We're looking for a helmet. Why do I care if you saw ants? Isn't there a walkie on it? Can you be like, hello, and you know, just follow it? There are shitloads of ants. How many <laughs> fish are there? I don't know, but probably as many as there are ants. Yeah. <laughs> Not one place at the same time, dude. Okay, I'm as confused as fuck by this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, welcome to the fucking club. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So... <laughs> you change your mind and decide to come. I saw an eagle hug a human, so I thought maybe it was a sign. What are you doing looking under the I leaves? Know. Like you wouldn't just see this shiny ass fucking helmet. Too bad Eagly didn't come back and you'd just be like, get the hat. It just dropped it in the middle of the woods. <laughs> oh, he's hungry. Oh, yeah. You're metaphorical, douchewad. My gun's real. I don't want the butterflies to hear. Ha! I almost tricked you. <laughs> Fuck nugget! You didn't trick shit, you ball sack looking fuck. I immediately went for my blowgun. I didn't think for a second about going for my gun. Oh, mm -hmm. she's gonna hear him. Are oh, you like that, huh? Smith. What are you doing? Nothing. I mean it just happened like a day ago. I think it's or the, the same, same day. day. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, did you find it? Oh, look! There you go. I need you to do something else for me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the bug, like, squeaked. <laughs> I don't even want to be here. And why are these wet? I washed them in the creek. Why? One of the things us warriors seldom talk about is how often people shit themselves when they die. It's a <laughs> touch of gray in the white cloud of kicking ass. Isn't that, like, a true thing? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. John, you can do this. Just act like they act. Don't show any expression. Yeah, like hardcore. Eat my dick, Schwarzenegger. <laughs> John, you copy? Yes, copy. <laughs> Don't look back. <laughs> They're everywhere. This is fucking. Well, oh, obviously. Remain calm. Head towards the barn like you know. Just what act you're like doing. you belong. Relax your face. Shut up. I know. Just smile like a freaking psychopath. What are you doing? Don't draw attention to yourself. I know. Just keep walking. You're being so suspicious. Where are you going? I'm going inside. Why? Fuck. Because of this bag? Why you be like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> because of this bag. <laughs> How the fuck did that work? <laughs> You're walking too fast. An elevator's noisy. Head down the stairwell. Oh my gosh, you're just gonna have to, like, you know, walk. Yeah. You have to act normal like you're supposed to be there. We just need you to place the helmet down as low as possible. You gotta act natural like you belong. Oh, no. John. Okay, you need to put it in somewhere. Just freaking throw it and blow it. <laughs> Leave it on the stairs and run back up. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's good enough, right? Cow my ass, it's a motherfucking caterpillar the size of the Empire State Building. Get ready. I don't feel like it's gonna be low enough. Out of here. Hey! Quit talking to yourself right now. The man you've taken over. Why did he do that to his beard? <laughs> Is he gonna say like dye beard? It's gonna be like the last straw. He thought it made him look younger. And <laughs> oh, right. oh! He never had a girlfriend, so he thought dyeing his beard might help. But he was also lazy and busy with his job. So he didn't touch he it up. Dye his roots regularly. Oh my <laughs> gosh! So he did dye his Don't beard. Don't cry about it, though. They have no emotion. He never thought anybody noticed. Until recently. When one guy 
I said it to him all the time. Oh. Oh, they're, oh gonna they're gonna move the bag. Humans can be really pathetic. Yeah. Blow the fucking helmet. Fine, I dye my beard, all right? We all know it. I guess I learned my lesson. L'Oreal probably is worth the extra few bucks. Hey! <laughs> oh. That guy just put this down here. Oh, dang, you better blow, blow it, it now. Or I don't know what y'all can do. Fuck, do it now. Do it. He needs to run. What the fuck? Oh my Are you kidding gosh. me? Oh what shit. My hands are sweaty. Oh my gosh. Did he just so fall stupid. right down? Oh my gosh, they better not kill him. Activate can we go save him? No. Hopefully they'll go run to the cow. Yeah. I don't know if that destroyed it though. No. I feel like they like wasted their opportunity. They're gonna have to do something else. Now, activate Sonic. Boom. There we go. Okay. okay. At least took out most of the ones up top. <gasps> Aww, poor oh, poor cow. Oh, I feel bad for this little cow. It's not little. It's large. Oh. oh, why do I feel sad for it? Oh. I don't know if this guy was more weird before he was like taken over <laughs> by the butterfly or not. Activate Sonic Boom. Oh, I thought he only really had three. Yeah, that's it for the charge. Oh, okay. Where'd you get this fucking shield? <laughs> I thought it was gonna take out more of them. I feel like the cow might still be alive somehow. Maybe yeah. it can go free and fly away. Fly? I don't think that fly thing can fly. Fly to space. Look, I can help. We need you to stay here, Ads. If something happens to us, you're the only hope. The fuck am I? <laughs> Let's go kill a cow. <laughs> the song. I will never not hear the song and think of the show. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Get that. Get that. <laughs> That's for Mern. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh! Dang, that was a big fall! Oh, you're like completely covered. Oh, darn it. <gasps> oh. Maybe he'll be I okay. I think he'll be okay. Get him to the friggin' vet truck. And maybe there's some, like, some stuff. Oh shit! Oh my gosh! Really? But didn't she wear Are, the vest? Is everyone gonna die here? But she got shot like in like um. Uh... Oh my! Are they really all gonna die but him? Oh my gosh! And the music's getting like yeah, distorted. No. Oh my gosh! She freaking died, probably. What's happening? I can't see. <laughs> what? Fuck the 
What are you doing? Vigilante. Wait, what are you doing? You can't. You'll get hurt. You can't do this. Hey, what makes you think you can do this? Somebody has to. Dude, God damn it. You're gonna get hurt. You better bring a gun too if you're gonna come in here like oh the- my Oh gosh. my gosh! John, you might wanna stay here. Oh my god! Oh, oh what the fuck! <laughs> it shouldn't be funny, but oh my gosh! Oh he fuck. barely jumped over the fence <laughs> and broke his leg! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Shoot this fucking no. butterfly! No! If it tries to like, go in your mouth, fucking bite it. Bite it! Bite it! Bite its head off! <laughs> Maybe she'll survive somehow? I don't know. No crawled. fucking way he crawled that far that quickly. Which one is that one? The scavies or whatever? I forgot what the other ones were. No, you know what? Isn't that the prototype one? The torpedo? Oh, yeah. I like how no one gave a shit about Vigilante. <laughs> I know, like he's just down somewhere. He'll probably be fine though. Friends! Again! Oh, oh this no! Freaking... You know, I was gonna say, I'm surprised she had the strength to pull yeah. him out like that. It wasn't her. Where the hell are you going? Maybe she's on the other side of it. Take out the leader. They should have shot it day one. Oh my gosh. So much for this bitch saying peace. <laughs> okay, here she is. <laughs> Activate human torpedo! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, oh my <laughs> I have no reason to hurt you. Stop fighting. Follow me. What are you even talking about? What is like... Yeah. Is this the more to the butterfly thing that we still haven't gotten? I mean, is Master she okay? Was talking about, I'm sure she's Leota? fine. That'd be the stupidest... I mean, not more stupid than John fucking... Like, doing what he could do his, his leg. Ankle. It looks so sad with its tooth. Oh, it's getting like burnt. Good. You found him. Uh, you found him. What is that supposed to mean? See that switch? I need you to flip that while Locke and I work these two stations to teleport the cow to our cavern in Maine. The fuck would I help you? Because yeah. I know that once I tell you the truth, like I did with Judo Master, you'll join. <gasps> You murdered innocent people all over the country by taking them over in your dipshit What's the truth? We're not doing this for power. We're doing it because we took a vow. <laughs> what? Oh, like his vow. <laughs> but vow for what? What does that even mean? Your food couldn't sustain us, but... That's why we brought her. The cow would help the last of our people survive for another hundred years. And then what? You die? Not long after we arrived, we realized the people of Earth were on the exact same trajectory as our people had been. Valuing profit over survival, treating minor inconveniences as assaults on your freedom. And so we made a vow. They're just gonna stay here and kill people. Fuck them. We made a vow to make the choices for you that you were incapable of making on your own. What? To Fuck save you! <laughs> and your world, no matter Fuck how the butterflies! It cost us. I do feel bad for the cow. Not y'all, though. You just came in and started taking over people's heads! You didn't think we had the right to impose our will. But you're one of us. Please, God. I'll do whatever you want me to do. 
You better not let these freaking butterflies brainwash you. I know. They literally came in here, alien invaded everybody, killed a bunch of people, and took over the brain. Mm. And now they're trying to tell you how to live your life. Fuck them. Thank you for feeding me and talking to me and showing me kindness. I see who you are and I see your character. I tried telling you yesterday in the jar. <laughs> this is manipulation. Mm -hmm. Be the peacemaker. Join You're us. You're going to be like, I will be. Planet. <laughs> no, no. I'm not what saving you your planet. No, fuck no. You're trying to take it over. You came in to take over this planet. Activate human torpedo. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Leo! Oh, no! oh my god! Uh, poor cow, but I mean. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he's being peacemaker. Mm -hmm. Sorry, cough. <laughs> For humanity! <laughs> Is she okay? She's really been through a lot right now. Like, she's really just been through it. She was just all like, <laughs> he like shot her. <laughs> oh, kill this thing this time. Don't let it go again. You fucking made that same mistake the last time. It's just going to inhabit somebody uh, else. And it's like the leader, so they're going to follow her. I guess it doesn't have food, though. Oh, yeah, I guess it'll but die then, soon. But then can it bring it again, another one? Oh, I don't know. Hey guys, what's up? No, oh, yeah, I guess he's good. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> Did she really die? Maybe not. I don't know. I feel like they wouldn't be... Well, I don't know. I mean, they wouldn't just leave her body yeah. there, though. What the what? fuck? <laughs> Justice League? Yeah. Why'd they just show up conveniently now? Where's Batman? You're late, you fucking dickheads. <laughs> that was it? <laughs> another fish, asshole. <laughs> I'm so fucking sick of that rumor. <laughs> it's not a rumor. Fuck you, Barry. What the heck? <laughs> I did not expect that. You I can like tell they, they only yeah, had the Jake those Jason, two. Those two. Yeah. And then Which the I'm surprised that dude's still even employed after all the shit he's done. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That one. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like uh, Vigilante needs some uh, attention as well. I'm fine, seriously. <laughs> All I need is a good nap. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's gonna be <laughs> yeah. My secret identity. Do you hear all that stuff Goff said? Yep. Did I just kill the world? You killed the butterflies. Well, maybe you just gave us a chance to make our own choices instead of our bug overlords. <laughs> Why did you choose not to help them? Because of your proto-fascist libertarian idea of freedom? Because they're literally an alien <laughs> bug species that came I in. Know. Like, what? <laughs> Besides... Even if, like, humanity's allowed to do its own thing, make its own mistakes. We don't need you, Fuck bug, this butterfly bug ass thing. propaganda. No way. <laughs> I'm taking a stand. I know. I have no sympathy for the bugs. I had sympathy for the cow. <laughs> As they were milking this cow, I know. like, like the fucking nothing? queen of an alien. I know. <laughs> well, I guess, you know, the queen wanted to have aliens. Don't tell V, but. After Eagly, you're my BFF. V. Vigilante. <laughs> so you're gonna cover it up now. Just 
like the script? Yes, that does mean Christopher Smith never wrote any diaries. Both the peacemaker and the costumed crime fighter vigilante were working in a deep cover operation <laughs> called Project Butterfly. This is all part of a black ops program known as Task Force X, where convicted criminals are undertaking dangerous missions for the United States in exchange Okay, well, I don't think she was supposed to be uh, saying all that stuff. Waller's going to be pissed. Under the command of a, of a mm -hmm. woman named Amanda Waller. <laughs> what the fuck? Who <laughs> to be my mother. <laughs> now, I'm he laid it all out there. Investigation into these men. Oh. Remember, they left that fucking butterfly alive. Oh, the, the prison? Are we recruiting? What's this? Is he just working here now? Oh, are these his friends? Yeah. <laughs> I really expected more from you. Yeah, Judo Master was pretty mid. Mm-hmm. You just like, I don't know, all <laughs> these bugs and eight Cheetos. Mm -hmm. You could have been cool. We're gonna see where Vigilante's doing. Is it Eagly? Oh, oh this oh fucker, no! I hate the bug. Eagly, don't eat it, though. There. The last of its food, I guess. So we're still going to be dealing with some stuff internally next season. <laughs> that was, um... I don't want to say it was a weird way to end it, but I feel like melancholy or something mm -hmm. about it all. Like, I don't know, it was just like so, um... I feel like I was a little bit disappointed in the bugs' overarching plan. Yeah. I mean, we know they wanted to take over, like, the fucking world but and But then they try like to be like, like, yeah, like we're no. just helping yeah, you Yeah, we're gonna stop we're you from destroying from yourselves. yourselves. Like, shut up. I you know. literally killed, like, a bunch of us and I took know. over our head. Yeah. And then try to, like, play us like we wouldn't <laughs> have known. We the apex predators in this bitch. <laughs> if you're gonna be sarcastic, you should really warn people so there's no confusion. What? For instance, like, I'm about to be sarcastic, Okay. <laughs> Okay. Defeats the purpose. Why are you all so obsessed with my physical appearance? <laughs> Sarcasm? I haven't noticed you eating way more corn chips than any one human being oh should gosh. eat. And I'm not <laughs> worried that you're going to die. <laughs> but I, I am worried that you're going to die. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So, Peacemaker. I enjoyed it. I didn't... I mean, the ending was fine. I just thought it was a little underwhelming. Maybe, like, kind of lackluster. Yeah. So, like, like, I was like, oh, the bugs, like, came... Like, I thought it was gonna be this, like, big, grand thing that they were like, but wait, and I guess, like, they kind of were... I, and it just felt I guess weird. the grand reveal is like, oh, we oh, destroyed our planet, y'all are gonna destroy yeah, your planet, like, we're so we're gonna, gonna take, take over. Take you and literally, like, control you. I don't know. I, it was just, like, weird to me. But, like, also, just, like, the way it ended, even though it was kind of, like, wrapping it up, you know, you saw, like, uh, what's-her-face make her way back to her, her wife. You you saw John with his picture with his friends and stuff like that. I don't know. I just kind of felt like I felt melancholy inside, mm -hmm. especially like seeing Peacemaker there yeah. with like haunted by the ghost of his father and that stupid fucking bug coming I back mean, here. Like I'm sure it's gonna die. I mean, I die. It's, once it's done with this food, yeah. I guess it's like you're just gonna die off. Yeah. Once their supply goes low, but then you're gonna see a lot of fr freaking people just die all around the planet that yeah. we didn't know were bugs and whatnot. Um, the Justice League showing up was interesting. Um, I thought it was kind of fun, just like in the moment. Obviously they. Uh, they made like a silhouette of Superman and they also made a silhouette mm -hmm. of Wonder Woman, which, you know, I still kind of feel a certain kind of way about, but I mean, it's kind of weird for me. Like, I know that James Gunn is like, you know, overseeing like the, the new direction of DC, but 
Are you just gonna like pick and choose, you know, what you want? And like, how does that make sense? I, I don't really know because I even heard that they're recasting Aquaman and they're going to take Jason Momoa. This is just a rumor, at least I've seen it pop up on the internet and he's gonna play a character named Lobo, which I don't even know who that is. Wolf? I don't, I don't freaking know. But anyway, if he's gonna play another character, then how is, does this work? Is this Peacemaker even gonna be yeah, the Peacemaker that we follow? Was this like part of the plan? Um, I don't know, like there's a lot of questions I have, but I will say, as a whole, mm -hmm. I did really enjoy this. Yeah, I thought it was, it was hilarious. Good. I thought, um, I initially thought going in, after seeing the Suicide Squad, that John Cena was really funny in the Suicide Squad, but I didn't know if he was gonna be able to like carry the, the show, and I didn't know if that humor was gonna kinda like dry up a little bit as we continued, but I thought that this show also had a lot of little elements of heart and whatnot that kinda like kept it going, and you know, seeing this internal struggle that he had with his father and dealing with like the death of his brother, um, I think really propelled his character to actually make mm -hmm. him more likable than what we had saw in the Suicide mm -hmm. Squad, and I like how they tied it all the way back to, you know, him killing Rick Flag, and he was like, you know, yeah. Peacemaker, that's a freaking joke or whatever the case may be and you know this was like him kind of getting closer to to center or whatever you want to call it but i feel like he's at least on the path uh albeit you know like i said he's still haunted by his father yeah i think overall it was a really good show um it was pretty like every episode there were some that were like uh i think a little bit better than others but like it didn't feel like there was anything that was really really like so far below the others mm -hmm. like you know everything was pretty even in terms of enjoyability and watchability and i think that that's a good a sign of a good show is like yeah. you know if every episode keeps your attention and propels the plot forward and stuff like that all right well thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time bye everyone <laughs>